हेलो स्टूडेंट्स हाउ आर यू ऑल दिस इज मेघना मदान एंड वेलकम टू अवर यूट्यूब चैनल संजय विज हदोई एंड टुडे विल बी कवरिंग साइंस चैप्टर दैट इज चैप्टर नंबर नाइन ऑफ क्लास सिक्स लिविंग थिंग्स एंड नॉन लिविंग थिंग्स बट बिफोर स्टार्टिंग माई वीडियो आई रिक्वेस्ट यू ऑल टू सब्सक्राइब अवर चैनल एंड प्रेस दर लाइक इन फॉर फर्दर नोटिफिकेशन एंड डू नॉट फॉरगेट टू लाइक एंड शेयर माई वीडियो इफ यू लाइक इट so let's see this picture students what you are seeing in this picture there are trees there are rocks a sun a pond fishes animals and many more so we can say that both the living things and the non living living things together makes our environment so students now let's see how the different things are classified as living or non living things the term living things refers to those things that has life in it or we say are now or once were alive for example the animals plants humans etc whereas the non living things are the things which does not have life in it or was never alive for example rocks soil car etc but did you know students that all the living things are made by nature but the non living things can be man made or it can be natural so we can say that both the living things and the non living things make our environment so is it understood students so let's take some of the characteristics of the living things our first characteristics is made up of cells all living things whether it's large or small plant or animal are made of cells there are animals that are made of single cell or one cell we call them as unicellular organism for example bacteria amoeba paramecium etc whereas the animals or the organism which are made up of large number of cells that are joined together are called multicellular organism for example fungi plants humans etc like you are seeing this in this picture it is a microscopic take a picture of a plant in which the large number of cells are joined together to form a plant now students let's come to the second characteristic that is needs food and water all living things whether it's plants animals or we the human beings needs food and water to for the survival and to get energy so that we can grow and develop our body in case of plants plants make their own food with the process of photosynthesis in which they use water and sunlight whereas the animals and the human beings depends upon the plants and other living organism for their food now students our third characteristic is growth all living things grow whether it's plants or animals keep growing and changing all the time as you are seeing in this picture a puppy grows into a adult dog and a baby plant had becomes a adult tree or we can say an adult plant is it okay students now our next characteristics or we say the number 4 characteristics is the movement all living things move on their own in search of food and shelter there are different types of movements like dogs cows cats etc walk fishes swim birds and some insects fly but plants do not move from one place to another but you but the plants can move their parts like you are seeing in this picture a sunflower sunflower plant turns towards the sun now students let's come to the fifth characteristic that is the response to stimuli all living organism responds to the changes around them or they re react to the touch heat cold and sound and the light as in this case you are seeing in a picture if we touch a fire with our hand our hand moves on its own in response of the stimuli and in case of the mumesa plant or we can say the touch me not plant closes its leaves when it is touched now the our next characteristic is the respiration 
all living organism undergo respiration as you know students and what refers to the respiration respiration refers to the exchange of gases in the environment in order to obtain energy from the food eaten the humans and most of the animals breathe through the lungs whereas all the uh, living organism have different organs for breathing like you are seeing in this picture the earthworm or we say leeches breathe through their skin the animals sea animals like fish octopus breathe through the gills and in case of plants the plants breathe through stomata that is present on their leaves now our uh, seventh characteristics of living thing is the excretion the removal of waste material from the body is known as excretion it is very important to excrete out the waste from the body so it can not harm us in case of humans and in case of the animals the uh, removal of waste is uh, done through urine and feces through sweat or through exhalation this is the excretory system of the human body and in case of plants do you know students how the plants excrete its waste the plants excretes its spray its waste through oxygen which is produced during the process of photosynthesis and through the secretion of gums latex resins as waste and also through shedding the old leaves as waste material now students our eighth characteristics of the living organisms is reproduction that all living beings or all living organisms we can say produce their young ones the animals and the human beings like animals like uh, cats dogs cows give birth to their uh, young ones while in case of birds insects and fishes which lays eggs and and which from which the babies come out is called reproduction while in case of reproduction most of the plants is reproduced through seeds like in case of mango orange etc but there are other two ways also through which the plants can be reproduced like through tubers in case of potato plants and through cuttings in which a part of a plant parent plant is cutted and is potted into a moist soil it is done mainly in case of the plant like rose cactus banana etc now students the our last characteristic is the definite life span all living organisms start their life and end their life in a specific time thus all living organisms have a definite life span like tortoises have a life span of about more than 100 years a tree has an average uh, life span of about 40 to 50 year approx while in case of humans the average life span is about 60 to 70 years i hope students you all are uh, have understood the characteristics of the living organism so students let's take up the quick review of characteristics of living organism the first was made up of cells living thing second living things need air water and food for survival third they can grow fourth they can move on their own fifth they can respond to the stimuli as they are sensitive they respire or we can say they breathe they excrete out their waste they produce their they reproduce their young ones and they have a definite life span so here the characteristics of the living organism are clear now students now let's take some of the difference between the living things and the non living things the living things can move without any help as you all move in ke as we all move from one place to another but non living things cannot second is energy is required by the living things for the growth and development while non living things do not require any energy living things are capable of growth reproduction and death while this is this ability is absence in case of non living things 
फोर्थ इज लिविंग थिंग्स रेस्पायर और वी से दे एक्सचेंज गैसेज फ्रॉम द इन्वायरमेंट वाइल इन नॉन लिविंग थिंग्स इट डज नॉट रेस्पायर लिविंग थिंग्स रिस्पॉन्स टू द स्ट्यूमलेस एज दे आर सेंसिटिव दे कैन फील द टच द लाइट द साउंड एक्सेट्रा बट दीज आर ऑल एबसेंस इन द नॉन लिविंग थिंग्स बट डू यू नो स्टूडेंट्स apart from these differences the non living things and the non and the living things also have some common feature like the common features the first common uh, feature is the living as well as the non living things are composed of matter as you all know what is a matter a matter is something that is uh, that has mass and occupies a space now the second is both living things and non living things are made up of a basic structural unit like in case of living things it is made up of cells while the non living things are made up of molecules so students i hope now you all have understood about the living things and the non living things so let's take an activity in this you have to write true or false for the following statement our first uh, first point is animals eat plants or other animals as they food is it true or false it is true because as we have studied that the animals and the human beings depend on plants and other animals for their food now the second point is animal breathes through only through their lungs is it true or false is it, it is false because we have studied that there are different breathing organs for different animals and the point number 3 is green plants make their own food it is true or false yes it is true because we have studied that green plants make their own for uh, make their own food during the process of photosynthesis now our fourth point is human beings breathe to take in nitrogen is it true or false it is false because we have studied human beings breathe to take in oxygen not nitrogen and now the fifth and the last point is plant reproduce only through seeds is it true or false it is false because we have studied that plants can also reproduce through tubers or through cuttings so students hope you like my video thank you goodbye